now to Danville, New Hampshire, where police are investigating the suspicious death of a woman there. Police say she was shot. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Danville tonight with the very latest. Beth? Well, it was very startling in the rural neighborhood of Danville, New Hampshire, where the suspicious death investigation is underway. Neighbors say it's not unusual to hear the sound of gunfire because there's often target practice in the area, but that this sound was different. A 911 call came in last night from the home on Back Road. When police arrived, they found a deceased woman inside the home dead from apparent gunshots. And there were other residents inside at the time, though investigators won't say who. Right now, they say there is no threat to the general public, but that has not eased the concern of neighbors anxious for information about the victim and concerned that so far no arrests have been made. What could have possibly happened to take someone's life like that? We're nervous. We're nervous. You know, like, okay, are we okay? And especially when they say they don't have any suspects in, but they're telling us we're safe. You still wonder until they find out exactly what happened. You still wonder, like, are we safe? Are we okay? I can tell you the investigation is very much open and ongoing. Um, uh, there's a number of different agencies that are here, uh, not only everyone here from uh, Chief Parsons' department, but also New Hampshire State Police who are assisting, and we're trying to figure out exactly what happened. Now that neighbor tells me this sound was rapid gunfire. Investigators say it is still very early in the investigation. The results of an autopsy should be available later today and they won't release the identity of the victim until then. But again, they say it looks like no threat right now to the general public and that so far no arrests have been made, but they are looking for any information that anyone can provide. Reporting live from Danville, New Hampshire, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.